Applied Primate has finished another scavenger hunt this past week. And so today I'm actually going to break down the scavenger hunt. The first thing that we receive is actually a Discord message from Doc Gibbons. The message actually details how we need to finish and complete the tasks in order to get these fragments. And so within that, he actually leaves a PDF file. The PDF file actually is two different letters. Within the letters, that's going to give us the information needed for these passcodes in a seed sequence to unlock the 8-bot. Now, the two letters, what's interesting is when in comparison to each other, you are able to identify a couple different key things. The most important thing is I would not change a word of your letter, though I might be so conceited to change a few letters of your words. Within this, you have two letters and we have to try and jumble up the different words and discover which words actually have letters and nuances that are the same and decipher that. So the first letter comes out to Crift Dog's phone booth 5 p.m. while the other one says give Top Hat a Vulcan sign. What this means is that at Crift Dog's, Crift Dog's is a location in New York City and we find that by typing that into Google Maps. Within that, we actually look through the series of pictures and you can see that you have like the hot dog, Crift Dog's uh, in the front, and then you actually have the phone booth. So we've discovered the location and now uh, at 5 p.m. we have our local scientists show up and they get the seed phrase. At this location, we're also able to get the next clue. The next clue is a formula sheet and there's four sections. The first section actually clearly defines what is the latitude? You actually have the logical ape theorem, which is LAT or latitude, and we have 515107. Uh, so that is the latitude. And then within that, you have section two. In section two, we're able to find the longitude, and it's negative based on the top section, and you have zero, one, two, one, seven, and four decimal places. So now we know that you have zero negative zero point one two one seven now in section three we get the time it says when and it's 1700 so we have the time and place and the final missing piece is in section four but the location is right there in london england but section four, we have to go back to Doc Gibbon's letter. And you can see right here that once we actually decipher everything, it means bonobo. Uh, and that is likely a secret code word that's needed to actually be used in London. Once in London, our scientists on the ground uh, find the location. And within that, it, there's a theater across the street. So you have this debrief uh, from two scientists at 1700 local time on Southampton Street in London. Two local ape scientists arrive to recover the second seed of the ape bot. Neural network upon arrival, they were approached by a woman looking for directions to a nearby French theater, but were unable to provide directions. Shortly after the phone booth phone rang, the password bonobo was provided directions were given to proceed to the royal opera house fifth floor terrace to meet a person in a wheelchair named loria and give the passphrase howler monkey and ensure they were not followed upon reaching the location and finding the contact both scientists were guided into a vip lounge and were bet met by a man so interestingly enough the royal theater was just right up the street and they were able to get inside and they were delivered by the contact these notes within the notes they were all jumbled up but gave instructions and they were quickly able to turn them over to discover the word was apes and plug that into the usb that was provided to receive the second fragment now the third fragment they were also given an envelope containing several images at the same time uh, a lot of the scientists uh, every single person was actually given an email that had more pictures within it. So quickly with everyone's brain power, uh, we were able to assemble all the different images and discover that it was the Serene Gardens in Singapore. And that was where we needed to meet up next. It was at this location that we had to hand off the fruit 
which was a banana. And so they handed the banana to the person in the park and got a code. The USB that was given, uh, it was said to make sure no one was following. So they got away, they were able to pull up the code and along with the code, they also had another message, which was, I have embedded the information in some AI generated music, dinner for four in my name, 5 p.m., which is super important. But listen to this track. Don't want a nation, get on me, get on me. Yeah. Like on my knees. With the collective ape hive mind power, all the weird owl counterparts to all the original songs were identified. Using the number of times each song repeated itself in audio as an index value, the subsequent character was extracted from the weird owl songs to give us the location. The location was in Ventura, California at Casa Vega Tacos. Once the location was secured, we sent our scientists to the LA location, which was Casa Vega Tacos. My co-host, A-Bomb, was on the scene right there at 5 p.m. to actually open the security lockbox that was left behind. There was a letter on top, and the letter informed everyone that they had to make sure that they had not been followed. Well, after a little bit of time playing around with the safety deposit box, it was locked with a five-letter lock uh, code. And after some trial and error, they were able to identify that the word was actually tacos. And so they were able to open that up and it very easily gave them uh, the fragment number four of the code, which can be seen here. Along with it was actually a letter uh, from Doc Gibbons with some extra uh, cryptic messaging as well. So there's some more stuff that we can read into. But after we entered all the codes in and they were actually correct, there was a final sequence that was then initiated uh, to receive a final code. The final code was actually identified uh, through around the globe. A lot of different people pieced it together and that gave an Ethereum wallet address, which is seen here. Once the final address was input in the system, it actually gave us a nice comic sequence. The first sequence is of Doc Gibbons actually initiating the ape bot and then it's the ape bot actually coming online and when the ape bot initially starts to see doc gibbons you then see doc gibbons uh questioning the robot making sure that all everything is functional and he's good to go and finally we see that the robot is online and feels stronger than ever so now we have the mega robot and it's here for all of us to see. I just want to say thank you to JT Obcat for his analysis and everybody that participated in the applied primate engineering scavenger hunt. It was a multiple day event and super exciting and congratulations to everybody that did end up winning. They gave away Board Ape Kennel Clubs, Jenkins of LA tickets and yacht keys. Uh, so again, congratulations to everybody. I'm excited for the next event and we'll see you in the next one.